Today I'm going to talk to you with you about domains. And domains, I'd like to tell you a little bit about domains. I would say domains are boring. We have lots of domains. So what is a domain name? Well, our domain name is really boring because in the end, web hosting starts with a domain. If you don't have a domain name, you can enter a website, but you will never be found. So that's one. Yeah, they're boring, but you need them. Second, for you, you know, as a hosting provider, because as it starts with a domain, you need to have it in your portfolio. No domain names, no nothing, no services. And it's a lock-in service. I will tell you a little bit more about lock-in and domains, because isn't it very easy to move your domains from one register to the other and so on and so forth? That's true. However, and however I will touch on today as well. Um, yeah, there's a margin. It's healthy. Oh, it's yearly. Every year you will find the same kind of margins back. So it's a nice cash flow to finance your organization as well. Ah, and next to that, it's volume business. Um, so I want to talk to, you, talk to you about domains, but also how the world is changing in domains currently, while we speak. But to do that, we, to understand that, I'd like to go back. What is this? This is a website. That's not, that's very obvious. What website is it? It's, or even better, what domain name is this? Anyone? Symbolics.com. This is the first domain ever registered. And that was the 15th of March, 1985, 30 years ago. In these 30 years, things have changed. So we just don't have one domain, we have 300 million. So that's 10 million domains per year. 10 million, and still growing. That market is still growing. But look at the, the figures. 30 years, 300 million. And that's, a, I would say, it's a good market, but it's a relative slow market. Specifically, if you look at the new world of domains, things are changing. What is changing? The, the, the complete registries are changing. So the 15th of July, this, uh, two years ago, you will be able to put a new GTLD in. Since then, we have 730 new domain extensions. That's a lot. That's a lot. I will touch upon that as well later. But that's a lot. And within this three years' time, already 7 million have registered. So in two years' time, 7 million, and it's growing fast. It's really growing fast. Why? Because customers can choose. There's a lot to choose about, and this is not all. In the end, it will be around 1,500 or 2,000 or 3,000 new extensions. There's a chance, and there's a challenge in that. The chance is this. Currently, per month, only 500,000 new domains are registered. 500,000 times 12, you do the math. So it's growing. Yeah, so what? It's growing. You know, my customers, they don't have a clue. They really don't know what I'm talking about. And they're confused. 740 possibilities times I don't know what. I'm confused. So what are you going to say? I'm fine. No new domains. I'm fine with my .de, .com, .eu. This is good. But is it really? Because if you try to talk, if you want to sell, you like to do, have to do a different thing with your customer. You need to put your customer in that growth circle. Because, in the end, this is the easiest upsell you will have since years. They already have a domain. And they want more. They should have wanted more. That is one. And the second is you can expand your relationship with your customer. Now, how do you do that? Challenge him. Because, again, they're confused. They don't know what it's all about. 714 extensions, 740 and growing extensions. Where do I, where do I start even? Plus, I don't want it. I have already a domain name. True. First you should do is create awareness. I think that a lot of marketeers and customers of yours don't, don't know even that this is happening. Don't know that there will be new extensions, new domains, new everything. They don't know. So explain it to them. That's first. Change your communication with your customer. Don't direct your communication to the IT director or the purchasing or whatever. Talk to the marketeer. Talk, but even better, talk to the online marketeer. Because they know what is going to change. And don't, for yourself, don't look in this month or the next month. Look at it from, five, from here from five years now. The complete way that people will search the internet will change. 
because the domains will change. And by doing so, you need to change your communication. Instead of, we can live with this and this service, no, think, about, think with him. Think along with your marketeer. Build examples, show them examples. See the opportunity, because for instance, a landing page for a marketeer is, is ABC, but you can change that uh, landing page with a very interesting domain. And I have some examples for you. Why not? Why not? If you're Heineken, why not? Why Heineken.com? Why not I like dog beer? Why not? If you are here, yeah. I'm not sure if you're a cloud provider who has already registered this, do it right now. Um, a football club in Berlin, why not? Things will change, not tomorrow, maybe not the day after tomorrow, they will. Show examples to your customer. If you have a, uh, a web shop with goodies for Mother's Day, do you love mom? Why not? Again, consumers will change, look different to the internet. Your, you will have to look different to your customers. Marketeers will look different to the customers. They will look a different way on the internet. And just because the domain names are changing, it's very simple, it's very basic, but it's a big chance here. That's one. So talk with your customers, but talk with the marketeers, talk, talk different with your customer. That's one. Second is challenge yourself. Are you ready for all these 740 and even more extensions? Are you already ready for it? Try register a normal domain in, for instance, Thailand already. And now try to get across grasp of these 740 domains. I just had to talk about the extensions in Chinese. What should I do with them? Yeah, good question. So challenge yourself. One is timing. We see a lot of examples that uh, providers are thinking, hey, new domains, I need to do something with that, so let's do an action towards our customer. Register .amsterdam now. So they do that. And then they come to us and say, yeah, we need to register .amsterdam. Yeah, yeah you, had to be, you had to be a week earlier. Then we could have helped you. So timing is critical here. You look, you look at what extension is available, when are you able to register it. Focus, you need to have focus. So domains, the 30 million, the 300 million domains, they just come in. People ask for hey, I like that, I like that, I like that. That's easy. This is not. This is an easy upsell, but you have to create focus within your organization. You have to create awareness with your customer as well as with yourself. And if you do that, you need to have knowledge about it. You will not have the people on board uh, able to manage those 730 currently, 1500 later extensions. But get training, get new people on board, but get knowledge of what is happening. Another one is choose your battle. As a provider in Germany or wherever, you will not be really interested in you know, offering all these 740 extensions. I'm sure you're not. So choose your battle. Uh, .Amsterdam, is it interesting for you? Doubt it. Dot .Berlin? Could be. And there are more like of these extensions. So choose your battle. Choose what kind of extensions you like and go for them. Align it. As the example I just said, marketing said, hey, we need to have a new um, action with new domains. And then the back office is completely unaware of it. That's a shame. So your customer is ordering something and you're not able to deliver it. Align those two. But even better, leave the real registrations up to the experts, to us. So what this is, we, we register domains worldwide. But this is where we're really focusing ourselves on. We can deliver any new GTLD, all these 740 and growing, we can deliver. In every stage, the sunrise, the land range, general, in any stage. And this is an interesting one. Um, this is actually a very internal thing, brute force. But uh, applying for an extension is one. Then you have to register a domain. Redlightdistrict.amsterdam, red light you have to register that. And there's just a little time zone in which you can do that, which you can apply for that. Let's say all our people who are available, available for delivery are doing that with brute force. You have to do that because everybody is applying for that in that moment, in that space, at that time. It's all online, it's like an auction, but you have to be there. For Dot Amsterdam, our latest. Uh, uh, thing is that we had 99% of everything we could register were ours. 
you will not be able to do that as well. So leave a, a, that to us. The brute force, we go up and have for our customers to deliver their new domains. Um, we deliver, we can do pre education and this is even more important because uh, the world is changing rapidly. Every day, so weekly is even late, but every day new domains and new extensions are coming there. But we, we update you weekly. What is coming available? How can you apply for that? What can we do for you? And, and this is something we are very proud of, we are one of the front runners in this area, and even ICANN has seen this. So ICANN is our customer. That's a little bit you know, changing the world, but they get their new GUDs from us. So that's something to be proud of. Something else, how do we deliver that? We do that in a package deal. So um, you pay us a service, a yearly service fee, and with that you can get all your domains, SSL certificates, even new GTLDs against cost price, our cost price. So no margin on, on any uh, domain, specific domain names, just cost price against the flat fee service deal. Sounds really too good to be true, but it is true. Some of our customers, some Dutch based, again I can, some international ones, very diverse in media and hosting, um, but, but only you know re reselling and indirect uh, companies. How to start? Come to our booth. Get the first XS new G two V XS X package package against cost price. So we can deliver that you for you for free. You get a code and you can start. And if you have any questions, come to us or drop us an email. Thank you very much.